Cannot enter site without an escort. I work in the telecom low voltage field and we are currently working on a new server farm for a small not hard company. We currently have about 15 guys on our team working this section. The past two weeks we have been pulling cable protector sleeves through their underground communications tunnels between buildings so we can pull the massive one fiber optic lines to connect the four buildings together. Your average foe line is measured in the M range. This thing is about 50x that size. The distance between the buildings isn't too great. But with communications tunnels you can't have a gap bigger than about 200. Which means that we need to go through four manholes to get from one building to the other. And we only have the gear to work two manholes at once. Of the four buildings. One of them is fully operational and the company takes their security very seriously. So seriously that they won't let anyone inside the active building without an escort of two people. A security guard and one of the head IT guys. Security guards are easy. They have one every 20 feet or so. But the head IT guys are rare and very busy. This past week we finished running the sleeves and had put in a request for our escort so we could run the faux lines monday security shows up it does not 15 guys stand around for 10 hours waiting for them boss calls pissed and they promise someone tomorrow tuesday security shows up it does not 15 guys stand around for 10 hours waiting for them boss calls pissed and they promise someone tomorrow wednesday security shows up it shows up we go over the game plan with the guy in the process. The guy keeps interrupting us to remind us that he is smarter than we are. We roll the faux spool to the first manhole and prep to go in at home 1 and 2. IT guy starts to yell at our boss right in front of us demanding to know why we hadn't already been. Pulling the 50k spool line of ultra delicate faux cable into the tunnels of an active worksite and just leave the ends using his best guess of the distance. I got a bit sarcastic there. Sorry. Boss lets him know that per the contract. We can't pull the faux line at all until we have the escort ready to let us into the active building. IT guys goes into a rage. Says he doesn't have time for us peons. Yes. He said peons. To stumble through pulling the lines and he has to go do real work. He doesn't wait for a response and just turns and gets in his cart and drives away. Thursday. Boss gets a call from the company in a rage demanding to know why we haven't done any work this entire week. Boss lets them know everything that has happened. Cites the dozens of emails he has sent the past two weeks setting the time frame, requirements, and him begging for an escort. Everything is ready. If we could get around the need for an escort we could get this done today. Company is holding firm that we must have an IT escort. Boss tells them that he is going to continue to have his full team ready on site every day until an escort arrives and he will just keep waiting since the ball is entirely in their court. Boss takes us all aside after the call and lets us know what the plan for Friday is. Friday. All of us arrive and boss is at our lay down for the first manhole with a grill and he's making us breakfast he has a big cooler of drinks for us and a bunch of beach chairs. We are all 100% ready to work. But we are going to spend the day relaxing right in front of their security cameras with a big cardboard sign that reads, waiting for IT escort party. Quote, they had the nerve to not show up again. We'll see how next week goes. And every time you bill that waste your time to their company right? Good that your boss has the team engaged. Breakfast. Beach chairs and the sign were perfect for the situation. Update required next week. Awesome workers wages for no work because one IT guy thinks his dick is the biggest ID have the Boss's boss of IT show him how much he just cost the whole project for absolutely no reason. 
I don't get it. As a high-paying IT person, I go a month without proving my value to someone. Then I show that I found something that will save us $250,000 or prevent a security issue. Then continue that cycle. ID love to spend a day doing nothing and then take credit for saving the company money. I'd assume it's probably 5k 10k a day? A. I like your boss. Hope the food was good. B. Wow. I also hope that the designated IT person is, regretfully let go, or something. And that. C. Your crew gets a decent IT person who knows where the clue dispenser is so that the work can be progressed at a reasonable pace to the satisfaction of everyone except perhaps those who want it. More barbecue from the boss. Oh man! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Can't wait to hear how next week goes. Got to get my popcorn ready. I am now emotionally invested. Please update us what happens next week. Absolutely need an update on this because damn. A whole week of nothing because of one dude. You're still charging the company for the wages right? Update me 3 days. I really hope this job is time and materials and your company isn't eating it out of the contract. Price. Hopefully the labor costs for the install keep mounting. Tell the boss that, for of course overtime pay, that y'all could offer to do the install on the weekends when their IT isn't so busy. Milk them dry. That's a good boss. We're gonna need an update on this one when they get the bill for all this wasted time and lose their minds. I kinda expected the boss to hire an escort for the last day. You know, one with an IT degree or at least the outfit. And then proceed with the works. Update us when they get the bill for your compliance. Remind me one week. Remind me one week. Great story. But it's premature for this sub. The sub rules state the fallout from the malicious compliance has to be in the post. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.